Hi, welcome to this Adaglonix 1907.5. So it's the edition already for July and it's two, three weeks before it's uh, released. The topic of the video is actually Adaglonix B. So the B stands for build your own ISO, right? Build your own ISO is a way to give you the user the power to build whatever you want on that ISO because we can't we can never ever um, build anything for 100% satisfaction for our public so the deal is build it yourself so not downloading it but building it and there is this project already in the tutorials you'll find a project Arclinux B XFC bear so the idea was that you you yourself should decide what goes on the machine and it's almost nothing here you see development just sublime text is there so choices need to be made genie atom whatever you like put it on there the idea is that you build it yourself so you have this project Linux xfce bear but it just could have easily been another desktop because it's just a choice a desktop is a choice awesome bsp wn etc so all of these things, I'm not gonna make a an, an video and a tutorial for all these desktops. It's just similar. You need to extract or recognize the similarities and that's okay, then, then you're good to go. You can build any ISO you like with any desktop you like. Being a minimal one, being a full one or a bare one, right? So how do you do this? Well, I had this idea, why should I not do this with BSP WM. We have this guy, which is the full version, right? But maybe it's better already that we start with a minimal version. So BSP WM minimal has already less software on it. So let's go over the motions because I've developed it already, but I'm gonna, in retrospect, try to, to think again. Okay, how should you go? Uh, oh, how should you do this? Let's do it on the desktop. So open a terminal here and you're gonna git clone something. Oh, it's already in there, I believe. Control shift V. So this is the minimal version, okay? This is the minimal version, but there is already a bare version and the bare version is the one from XFCE, All right? Okay, so that's your bare version. And the one you wanna make is this guy, control C, control V, and make it bare. So basically, this one is what we're going to try to, to make, the bare version of BSP WM. What we need to do is to compare these two guys. What elements did I, what pieces of the puzzle did I say, forget about those, forget about those, in XFCE is probably going to be similar or the same as the one here. So use the power of melt and use compare here. You change the names. So this is Arco BSP WM bear is to the left and XFCE bear is to the right. So this is actually not the minimal anymore. That is the bear. So when you build an ISO, it's going to be called bear. Okay, clonezilla is out. So I'm comparing left to right, xterm. We don't put xterm anymore on BSP WM bear. And then we scroll down. Volume icon, I do think we're gonna need it. This one, blues, maybe you're not, uh, you don't have Bluetooth, so you can hashtag that out as well. If you do not have Bluetooth, you do this, okay? So I'm just gonna follow along what XFCE bear is, is doing here. And you decide if you have the need to have something or not. But I'm following pretty much Compton is needed. BSP WM relies on Compton. But that that beef, the menu is a way to have a menu on BSP WM. Phase is needed for setting wallpapers, gonna keep that. <clears throat> it's a small application anyway. Genie, GM run, image magic melts. It hurts my, it hurts me when I'm gonna not install it. This is a bare version after all. We do need awesome 
fonts for the icons up there in polybar in bspwm gonna keep alex appearance since that's the way how to set icons but this can go can go can go i'm just when whenever i press this button it means it's gonna copy paste over it means it's not gonna be installed on bspwm i'm gonna keep rofi and i'm gonna keep our XVTs, which is our super T, which is our terminal and BSPWM tree. I don't need. <clears throat> All right, getting there. Vivaldi font awesome. Keep it for the icons up there in BSPWM in the menu. Conkeys, forget about it. Not needed. Not needed. We're going for a bare version. Remember, not all the nice stuff is gone. But we do have URXVT, so we're gonna keep those elements. Then Arc Linux applications gets let's keep that one. Let's keep that one for the menu. I meaning the, the settings, XFC settings. Arco theming, yeah, then it's gonna be less nice, but whatever, it's it's gone now. We're gonna need BSP, we're gonna keep those guys. Fonts, wah, can leave it out as well. Just one minor thing, if I wouldn't do this, I don't think we'll see it in BSP WM. NeoFetch is nice to have, not nitrogen maybe. So, NeoFetch I'd like. Control find neo fetch is installed, so then we install also the package. BSP over oh, logout, BSP we need it, otherwise, we don't have a beautiful icons when we log out. And the themes go with it. Polybar is installed, roughly keeping it. The menu, Slimlock themes, yes, okay, um, termite themes yeah sure variety that's something we can get rid of and garçon is out terminal is out ristretto why it's out um well, voila i don't need it it's out already out in and we're done this is what i would do if i wanted to make a bare version and there you go so the thing you now have to do, and that's the most fun part, is build and build and build and build up on until it's you say, this is the thing I want to have. So number 30, that's the way to go. Put it on the side, just walk away, take a coffee or tea or beer or whatever, and uh, sit back and enjoy the show. Um, in the meantime, while he's doing his job, I'm gonna go to another uh, screen. And what I'm gonna do is open Super F5, which is our melt. I'm gonna compare already something that I've created in advance. So, um, what is the one that we have built is on the desktop, right? So, on the desktop. Where are your desktop? Here. No, that's not gonna work. Other desktop bare this guy open and the one I've created already is in Arc Linux B bear and let's compare are the differences I have made differences yeah in the version that I have I have included arc themes which I kind of like and local git was also included and nitrogen was also included, but basically all the rest is the same. So it's uh, a choice. Uh, you make different choices an hour later. It's just the way you like it. And that's the point with Arcanix B. Build it, that's it, build it. Let's uh, wait a little bit before we try this out on VirtualBox. So there we are, 1.2 gigabytes is out. And where is it? In Arcanix B out, there is this uh, new Arcanix B BSP WM bear that we can test out. So super F7, 
VirtualBox is opened. I add my template, pre-fabricated, meaning it's Arch Linux, uh, half of RAM, half of the processors, VBox, VB, VBox VGA, and half of video memory. So cloning it to show BSP there. Clone. Let's put it in here. So choose that one. Wrong screen, of course. Why would it be the correct screen? So that's the one. And there is a trick to it. I still let's see if I still find it. What it was again. There we go. So virtual box is maximized on my first or my left screen so you can see it this is a standard drill after installation 2305 I think I know what to set that's not it and there we go go my friend Install Arch Linux B BSP WM Bear. Control T. So that's why we changed the name into Bear. It used to be minimal or min, I think. And so we have 810 packages, but that is when you are on a live DVD. We'll see later because lots of stuff needs to be here for Calamaris, but it's not going to be installed on the machine. So let's wait for the installation. And everything is everything is installed. Let's restart and make sure we do not boot from ISO, but from the hard disk. The grub is there, nice. And we're greeted with our beautiful LightDM. So we log in, that's the only thing we can log in. Always have to check. Login and there you have it. Don't show this message. Control T, Alt N is not working right, it's not installed, Eric. So this will be my wallpaper. I uh, wonder if I had installed Nitrogen. Nitrogen is not installed, Eric. It's a bare version. So here you have it 758 packages. So after installation, you only have 758. There's no Conky present, we did not install it and um, memory is oh, incredibly low 268 megabytes out of my 8 gig that i gave it so that's really nothing at all maybe you know, gtop will be won't be installed either or anything of the likes htop so we have a ps we have this but i'm gonna install something just to see um, Top. Is that the nice one? I can't recall anymore. But anyway, I think it's the nice one if we do it in termite. This is not termite. G top. There you are. That took a while. Uh, Control C. Opening up termite. It's nicer. And GTOP is more graphical and more beautiful in here. So there you are. I have my four CPUs in my virtual box. That's what I mean with nicer. This line, the dotted lines is, is nicer here. Disk usage, total receive, network stuff. What's process are here. So there you are, guys. This is XFC Bear point is again let me end the video with that i'm not gonna make xfc bears for all the build your own isos it's just a choice it's a process it's something you should build not i should build and the the thinking the reasoning behind it it's all here in the tutorials you'll find the project Linux b xfce bear You've seen how I've created a BSPWM. It's up to you to 
get things going and say, okay, I want, don't want to have PSPWM, I want to have i3, etc., Qtile, etc. Compare it and build it in and try to figure out what's needed, the pieces of the puzzle. You'll learn a lot. I've learned today, for instance, that NumLock X needs to be in here, otherwise Lightium will crash because there's a little script that says NumLock's on. And if NumLock is not installed, it won't boot Lightium. So we learn all the day, all, all the time and, all, and every day. Um, basically, have fun and learn a lot about your Linux system. All right, cheers. Mm -hmm.